Hey guys, um, very impromptu vlog today. I obviously just got back from my run, as you can see. Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, is that, is that good for you? You guys get mad if I don't do this or this or whatever. Dang, gone, I need to do an arm workout. Um, I didn't do, I don't think I hardly had any weight training last week. Um, but I am working on my um, planner. I've, I've put in all of my workout DVDs um, and I'm, I'm gonna be mapping out my workout. I do know that um, I needed to be doing for my marathon training, excuse me, half marathon training, they had me down for three miles um, for two or three runs this week and whatever. I'll post that. I forgot to post it last night. Anyway, the reason that I'm coming in here and shooting this vlog right now in the midst of my still messy kitchen because my furniture is in there drying, I think I'll finally be able to tip it back up and maybe get these fumes out of the house um, because it's going to be hot today. Um, but anyway, I wanted to come in here and shoot this vlog because I hate how these tops fit. Um, I'm digressing, sorry. Um, I wanted to come in here to this vlog because I went on my run today and I got to like um, 15 minutes and started to get the stitching. Okay, so remember, you guys, when I say stitches, it's on my right side. It's clearly from breathing wrong. And, and I, I know now what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to tell a funny story to show you why I know what I'm doing. Because um, it's not like stomach ache cramps. I told you, Miss Sensitive Stomach here, you know, I, I know that if I eat too much, like if I were to eat in the morning and then try to go on a run, I'd have major issues because my body digests food very slowly. Um, and then that would make cramping, like what I call cramping. Okay, so the stitching, I swear to you guys, the only thing that impedes my progress or makes me have to walk is these side, side stitches. And I try to imagine that Amy is beside me because she would go run through it, run through it, or run through it as much as you can, right? And I'm all about toughening up, but there comes a point where it's just like, I'm being dramatic here, but it feels like, you know, you're just getting stabbed in the side. And, I, you know, then I'm not enjoying the run because all I'm doing is focusing on that. Now, I know Amy's going to watch this vlog and say I have to focus on it and just like, instead of focusing on my attention there, focus my attention everywhere else. But I've done runs where I have not had the stitches and I've been able to get through it. So the thing that I remember is... You might laugh. When I was like young in high school, right, and I, I saw people smoking and I wanted to be cool and smoke, or in college, you know, when people were smoking pot, you are going to laugh when I tell you this. I can't inhale. Um, I probably could if I took a class on it, but literally, like, I tried to smoke in ninth grade and I'd buy cigarettes and I'd be like, <sighs> and this girl was standing by me one time and she's like, she looked at me a couple times, she goes, you don't even know how to inhale. And I'm like, yes, I do. Watch. <sighs> and she's like, open your mouth. And all the smoke came out. Because, I don't know if you could see on my throat, right, when I, when I inhale like that, I close my throat up. I have no idea why I do this. It's just that's what happens. And I think this is what happens when I, like, start off my run. I just, I start running, and I, or, or maybe, you know, when I'm trying to focus on my breathing. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I know that, like, when I'm focusing and I'm saying, oh, I need to get more air, you know, down there in, in, my, in my tummy or whatever, my tendency is to breathe in, but I'm, I'm breathing it all in up here. Like it's not getting down into my torso. So there have to be some kind of, I don't know who I was talking to, maybe Sean, who's going to be on Wednesday Week Factor coming up. But he was saying that he, you know, he took a, some, some instruction on how to breathe when you run. Because I got to tell you guys, you know, Amy said before how she's had, like her legs hurt, um, or she has, you know, her, her hips are tight or whatever, her IT band. I'm sure that maybe someday that'll happen. I have not had my legs hurt at all. The only thing I had is that one blister, the one time I've had the chafing, but the only thing that stops me from doing like an hour is every day is this, you know, is, is the days that I go and I get a side stitch. I don't know if that means that I drink, need to drink more water, um, but I tend to think it's the way that I'm breathing and I've got to figure something out because, you know, I'm not giving up. That's all there is to it. And if it means that I have to just keep running for a month, with the pain and then maybe it'll inevitably just go away. But I really like to hear from any of you guys that have had to deal with this because it's my number one thing. And like I said, I would stop to walk for a minute or so on my way back and, you know, I was concentrating on trying to breathe to get, you know, oxygen into the area where the, the stitch is, right? So I'm going, and then I found myself doing the same thing. And you might think that this is stupid. Do I walk around all day going, no. But when you walk around, you're just breathing naturally. I've got to get to the point, whether it means turning my music off and just concentrating on running and breathing naturally, maybe that'll do it. These side stitches, I, I've got to conquer whatever it is. So if you guys have gone through this 
and found a solution. You know, I am doing the thing. One of the running magazines said something about, you know, inhale and then exhale on the opposite foot of the stitch. Um, when I tend to get it bad, um, it doesn't tend to go away. I'm sure that I'm running a little bit faster than, than I should be, um, but I think for me, maybe in the past I've been going like 5 to 5.5 .5 miles an hour, and after doing that 5K, everybody was pretty much doing 6 miles an hour, and I'm, I'm probably sure that that's what I was doing today because I noticed my time when I got to the halfway point, which should have been a mile and a half, I was at 14 minutes. This is not completely accurate. I don't get my new polar heart rate monitor until tomorrow where it will show me how fast I'm going and exactly, you know, the mileage and so on. Um, but I think that, you know, even with, with walking for a couple blocks, I still got there a minute earlier than I did before. So I know I'm going faster. Um, maybe that's my key. Maybe I need to just concentrate on really slowing it down and just doing the distance and not worrying about... It's not like I'm trying to really go fast. I was just kind of going at a, a pace. But... Um, if you guys think that's it, that that's why I'm, I'm not breathing right, um, I just would really love some tips. Um, that's all. And I know Amy will go, you just need to go and, and figure it out, and it'll figure it out on its own. And Amy's just kind of like miles above me in so many areas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's just like floating above me in the clouds of, you know, superiorness in running. That's all I'm saying. I mean, she's got skills that I clearly don't have. I'm trying to buy it at Walgreens, but they don't sell it. Okay?